the knight that old Donnie wanted, and you could tell he was furious. Again, technically you could score it a W in the Trump column, but he won by a far smaller margin than anyone predicted two or three weeks ago, one. And two, he was complaining about the result tonight, even before it became official, because he knew... He was afraid that he could lose tonight. Whether he did or not, he felt it was coming. And so tonight, he gave a low-energy rally, which was interrupted and shut down by protesters yet again. Uh, the crowd clearly not all that into it, despite it being a technical victory. But what's really critical is he was torn apart by the media, live, interrupting him, calling him a stupid a-hole like he is, and critically... I, I, like, as much as I don't like her, Nikki Haley gave a rival speech while Trump was speaking, and it was quite a bit better, and she tore into him pretty effectively. So on a night that was supposed to be about celebration, Trump got shut down, interrupted, and ignored harder than ever before. Watch this every second essential, as I've been saying. If you watch the entire runtime, don't click out half of the way they're through. If you watch the entire runtime, YouTube will show this to every conservative MAGA freak on this website. And they'll watch it. They'll, they'll click on it. And when they do, they'll see the truth, thanks to you, that they've been trying to hide from about their cult leader. Uh, and Aaron, I think, you know, one of the things that's uh, interesting about uh, Donald Trump's performance this evening is he's mad. He's angry. That was not a celebratory Trump. He's angry that Nikki Haley is still in the race. Right. He was insulting her. He was insulting voters of New Hampshire. He was insulting the, the process uh, of the primary system there, which has been going on for, you know, back. It was going the same way back when Donald Trump was a Democrat. Uh, he went after the governor. Um, this is not gracious Donald Trump. I'm no. going to be the nominee. Come, let us all come together and heal. This is I am furious. Where's my hype man to, to do even right. more attacks against? The people, the people arrayed behind him and the yeah. whole, you know, even as what's interesting is he did better than his own campaign had set the expectation. Oh, he for, did. Right? He should be in a I good mean, mood. Right. I mean, right. Kristen Holmes was saying they expected it to be, you know, seven points, which was a spin there to say that, oh, wow, if it's close, seven points is a win. Yeah. Right now, as you know, everything's still being finalized. You're looking at something certainly in the double digits, Abby. So he should be. Feeling good. But as Jake said, that's not he wants the tone. To add Nikki Haley to the roster of people standing behind him who he defeated. Yeah. He, there, there's a reason that they're all there the Vivek Ramaswamy's and the Tim Scott's and, and whoever else. Trump wants to show his dominance, to prove it. Uh, to to voters and to have people come and kiss the ring. And the fact that Nikki Haley has not done that yet uh, is a problem for him. But I, I will say, you know, Nikki Haley and her campaign, they're going to be huddling probably every day until that decision is made. And in the meantime, all of the people around her know Trump's mood tonight and they see his anger and they do not want to be on the other side of Donald Trump, if he is inevitably, as he looks like he might be, the nominee to the Republican Party. That is going to be a huge pressure point for Nikki Haley as people try to not be the last person to cross the line over to the Trump column. The question is, who's going to fix it? With Donald Trump, Republicans have lost almost every competitive election. We lost the Senate. We lost the House. We lost the White House. We lost in 2018. We lost in 2020. And we lost in 2022. The worst kept secret in politics is how badly the Democrats want to run against Donald Trump. They know Trump is the only Republican in the country who Joe Biden can defeat. You can't fix, you can't fix the mess if you don't win an election. A Trump nomination is a Biden win and a Kamala Harris presidency. I defeat Biden handily. With Donald Trump, you have one bout of chaos after another. This court case, that controversy, this tweet, that senior moment. You can't fix Joe Biden's chaos with Republican chaos.
The other day, Donald Trump accused me of not providing security at the Capitol on January 6th. <laughs> now, I've long called for mental competency tests for politicians over the age of 75. <laughs> Trump claims he'd do better than me in one of those tests. Maybe he would, maybe he wouldn't. But if he thinks that, then he should have no problem standing on a debate stage with me. Most Americans do not want a rematch between Biden and Trump. The first party to retire its 80-year-old candidate is going to be the party that wins this election. And I think it should be the Republicans that win this election. So our fight is not over because we have a country to save. In the, in the next two months, millions of voters in over 20 states will have their say. We should honor them and allow them to vote. And guess what? In the next two months, Joe Biden isn't gonna get any younger or any better. We'll have all the time we need to defeat Joe Biden. When we get to South Carolina, Donald Trump's gonna have a harder time falsely attacking me. The great people of South Carolina know I- This is a decision that we re revisit constantly and that we will revisit constantly, but tonight uh, we're expecting Trump to speak momentarily. We are going to go to those remarks uh, to see how he uses this moment, at least at first. We'll see how it goes. Again, this is a decision that um, is one that we consider to be an open-ended live decision. Um, let's go to Trump headquarters right now in Nashua, New Hampshire. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Whoa. USA, 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 USA. Well, I want to thank everybody. This is a fantastic state. This is a great, great state. You know, we won New Hampshire three times now. Three. Three. We win it every time. We win the primary. We win the generals. We've won it. And it's a very, very special place to me. It's very important. If you remember, in 2016, we came here and we needed that win. And we won by 21 points. And it was great. And uh, today, I have to tell you, it was very interesting because I said, wow, what a great victory. But then somebody ran up to the stage all dressed up nicely. <laughs> when it was at seven, but now I just walked up and it's at 14. But, but she ran up when it was seven. And, you know, we have to do what's good for our party. And she was up and I said, wow, so she's doing So there we go. Uh, um, so this is part of the won. issue here. Uh, so Donald win, Trump saying lost. that he won New Hampshire, um, not only in previous primaries, but that he won New Hampshire in the general election um, is not true. Donald Trump did, to his credit, um, in 2016, win the New Hampshire Republican primary. He did, in 2020, win the New Hampshire Republican primary. But both in 2016, when he was competing against Hillary Clinton in the 
the general election. He narrowly lost New Hampshire in the general election. And then in 2020, when he was competing against Joe Biden in the general election, he lost New Hampshire, New Hampshire by a good, fair chunk of vote. So uh, the former president has opened his remarks tonight once again by proclaiming um, falsehoods about previous elections. This is what makes it hard to take him, uh, his pronouncements live. We'll try again, though. Here we go. He has to do it in one minute or less, and then we're going to just say, we had one hell of a night tonight. And one other thing before Vivek comes, do you see that poll? We're going to put it up. We have beaten Biden. You could almost say, who can't? Who the hell can't? The man can't put two sentences together. He can't find the stairs off a stage. Who can't? But Vivek, one minute or less. Go do it, Vivek. What we saw tonight giving Donald Trump is giving an, an, an unusual victory speech um, in New Hampshire um, in which uh, he initially at the outset of his remarks said that he had won New Hampshire both not only previous primaries but had won in previous general elections. He lost both in 2016 and in 2020 in the New Hampshire uh, general election contests. Um, he then reiterated that and then handed over his victory speech to Vivek Ramaswamy, um, after saying we don't need to talk about Tim Scott, and by the way, he got engaged, and that's more important than any of this, and then we did one. So He seemed to suggest also that the governor of New Hampshire is on some sort of drug. Yes. He said, I don't know what he's on. Baseless. The yeah. governor, which, yeah. which I think is utterly baseless, just to be clear. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but he, I just want to be clear, like yeah. you said this. He, so he, he said it casually, we won the primaries and we won the general. He came back to linger on it. Yeah. Acknowledging at one point, like, they said we lost by a whisper. But really, we, we won, and we won in 2016, and we won by a bigger amount in 2020. And again, like, there are misstatements, there are, uh, you know, uh, have-truths, politicians tell. But, like, the fundamental core lie that is the core of the whole democratic crisis the country faces right now revolves around this just simple matter of history. You see it reflected in two-thirds of Iowa primary voters saying that Joe Biden was not legitimately elected, one half of those voters in New Hampshire. Like, So this is just in a different category, and, I would submit. Well, let, and let's just, I mean, let's just be really clear about this, right? So Trump saying tonight, after having won the New Hampshire primary, which he has done twice before, Having then gone on to say, that's not enough. You can't just claim credit. You have to claim credit. You have to falsify the election yeah. results in the, twice, in the two times that you lost the state is a form of like reality bullying yes. in a way. And yes. he's done this around Iowa as well. So, for example, he doesn't have bragging rights about winning the Iowa caucuses. He lost the Iowa caucuses in 2016 to Ted Cruz. Yeah. But after winning...